Hello from Shrix and hello from Smarthead. What's up folks? In the last video I showed you many different kinds of notification, normal view and big view and also I depicted the difference between the regular activity and the special activity in the last video. So in this video I will start our coding and we are going to make notifications which will appear somewhat like this. So this is actually a normal view with a regular activity. Fine now. So we are going to write the codes in the activity A and when we will click on the show notification button then it will generate a notification which will appear somewhat like this. Now this is actually a regular notification. So if you have watched my previous video so you must be knowing what is regular notification. I just suggest you please go back and check out my last video because I am just going to show you the codes not the explanation of what I am doing. So please go back and check out my last video. Fine. Now here I have added the two buttons settings and help which is actually the integral part of this regular notification. Now when the user will click on this regular notification then he will be migrated to the activity B and if user press the settings button then he will be migrated to the settings activity. Similarly when user will click on this help button then he will be migrated to this help activity. Now guys with a single notification that you can see here we are able to provide the three functionalities or you can say or we can add many buttons right here as per your wish. I have just added two buttons. If you want you can add three buttons also, four buttons also up to your wish. Fine. Now as an Android user you must be knowing the Facebook notifications that you get, the Gmail notifications that you get those are having the direct button. Through these buttons itself you are able to like a comment or reply to any email that you receive in your smartphone. So let us quickly jump onto the Eclipse and start our coding. Now here I have created an applications, notifications regular application. Now this is my package name, doesn't matter, fine. Now here I am having the four activity, activity A, activity B, help.java and settings.java and correspondingly inside the layout folder I am having four XML files for these activities. Fine. Activity A.xml, B.xml, help.xml and settings.xml. Fine. Now inside the activity A.xml I am having actually four buttons. Show normal view, show big text notification, show big picture notification and show inbox style notification. Now if you remember these four categories of notifications are broadly further categorized into regular notifications and special activity notification. Now first we will tackle this regular notification in all the four cases and after that we will switch over to the special case of activity in these four categories of notification. Fine. Now on click of all these buttons a common function will be executed. This function is actually show notification. Fine. This button also. Then here also show notification. Then again here also show notification function. Now again on click show notification function. This function is actually present inside the activity A. So till now nothing new. I have used a switch case statement to differentiate all the buttons. Fine. Now. Here I have created a show, show normal view notification method. Now let us write the functionality for this show normal view notification right here. Fine. So our first step is to build the content of the notification. Right. So what we're going to do just type notification compact dot builder. Let us write the object name as builder equal to new notification combat dot builder. Now the context just type activity a dot this. Fine. Now after this let us set the content of the notification just type builder dot set content title. Now this content title let's give it as normal regular notification fine now after this set the text dot set content text now here I have prepared something for you now this is the string that will appear just below this content title 
hey i am watching the android videos of smartherd i am enjoying a lot it's amazing fine now let us do one thing let's cut it from here let us create a global string variable content text fine so i have globally defined this string and stored it inside the content text fine now let's cut it sorry copy it and paste it down here fine so this is a string so our text will appear as content text fine now set the small icon r dot fine now after this set the ticker builder dot set ticker now what the sticker stand for i will show you when i will run this application hey this is ticker fine now set this notification as auto cancelable true now this auto cancel true this means when you, when the user will click on this notification to mi migrate to activity b then this notification will be automatically cancelled fine so we have built the basic content of the notification now it is time to pass this notification through the notification manager so for that let us initialize notification space notification equal to builder dot build fine now after that let us initialize the notification manager space manager equal to this dot get system service now the service that we require is actually notification service fine now let's check the error oops we have to type cast it yeah fine we are pretty done yeah now after that let us pass this notification through the manager dot notify now inside it we have to we have to give the two parameters the first is the id which is actually which should be unique now second is actually this notification variable now this notification is nothing but this notification object of the notification class fine so these codes are actually incomplete but these codes are sufficient enough to generate a basic normal view notification fine now before running our application and checking the codes let us copy this method and paste it here so whenever the user will click on this be normal button then this method will be executed this method will be called and this method is nothing but this method right here so these codes will be executed and we will be able to see a basic notification in our application now let us run our application bam our app is running now let us click on this button show normal view now as soon as we click on this button hey this is sticker this appear at the top of the navigation drawer now let me show you once again clear it now hit show normal view see this is actually the ticker that appears when the notification drawer is not opened fine so this enable user from which application the notification has come and what is the basic agenda of the notification so now let us open this drawer yeah here we go our notification is looking quite pretty awesome now if you click on this notification then nothing happens because our codes are still basic it is actually incomplete till now we have just set up our basic requirements of the notification this part so i will stop here guys i don't want the things to be messed up in the next tutorial i will show you how you can add the action button and how you can move to the activity b using the pending intent and what are the changes that you have make in the manifest file so till then guys stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment below my video and thanks for watching have a good day thank you